hours ago, both of these flasks looked like this. Okay? And this is, believe it or not, this is a saturated solution, but it's got so much stuff in it that it actually appears to be just a solid mass, but there's a very small amount of solution in there. What I did was I heated that on a hot plate and it turned into this. this, this. I don't want to pick it up because I'm afraid if I pick it up, something, it'll go. <laughs> it dissolved. You can see, I think, that that's a solution now. I guess I'll give it a go. If, I, if it starts to crystallize, just I'll remind, I'll tell you. Okay. That's now a solution. And it was boiling hot. But now I've slowly, carefully, and undisturbingly left it cool. So it's now entered the forbidden supersaturation zone. Any small disturbance will make all that extra stuff that shouldn't be dissolved at this temperature, and it's room temperature now, will crystallize out. So how do we set off the crystallization? Well, if you shook it, see, I want to put a seed crystal in. A seed crystal. All right, it only takes like one little crystal. So here's the stuff, the solid that I used to dissolve it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a little bit, it doesn't take much, but I'll probably put more than I need in there. And you're going to see an interesting little phenomenon. It's kind of cool to watch a crystal. I'm just going to put a couple of crystals in. Okay, watch. Okay, they hit. Now watch them grow. See the little needles growing? Can you see that? It's like snowing or something in there. And they, they all form in one solid mass of crystals. And what's really cool about this is you can use this phenomenon for a hand warmer because it gets nice and warm when it crystallizes. It feels like a warm puppy. <laughs> well, this one didn't get that warm. It's kind of a lukewarm puppy. Uh, I feel some heat here. You can pass it around. This one, this one's still a little warm from its previous crystallization. So you can feel the bottom. <laughs> A lukewarm puppy. It does. What does it smell like to you? Good, good, co uh, good observation. Go ahead. It won't hurt you. It's actually food. Vinegar. Uh, correct. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of what I'm it, it is. Um, it's not actually vinegar stuff, but it's got the same one of the same ions as vinegar, an acetate ion. So it will give you a little bit of vinegar. It's often added to food. Not you, know, you wouldn't want to eat it directly. Oh, <laughs> but um, it uh, it does give a little bit of a vinegary flavor. Is it a solid thing? Like turn upside down? Uh, yeah, be a little careful. That's gross. It's all like trapped. It's like it's everything gets trapped. The crystals. It went from like direct. It should get warm. Oh, liquid. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, it is warm. You can smell it. You don't have to worry about yeah, water. This one. This is actually So there's still some. Yeah. So, no. Does it feel warm, Seth? Yeah. Is it warm, warm coffee? Like no. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. You see the solution and stuff. Oh yeah, a little bit in that. Like at the top. Your boyfriend Yeah, if you dumped it, it would yeah. make a little crystal spot on it. Like a warm puppy. Yeah. Like a warm puppy. Stroking, oh, yeah, yeah. Puppy, stroking my yeah, puppy. Yeah, the nice thing about this is you can they, you can you can purchase these so hand warmers and what you do is in a plastic pouch and it has a little metal disc that you disturb it with instead of a seed crystal because you can't really open the pouch and you just you, you just click this disc and it sets off the crystallization and then when you're done you can just you take the pouch and put it in boiling water and it redissolves, and you can reuse it. And I, I used to have one. And I purchased it at a scuba diving shop. So why would I find something like that in a scuba diving shop? Because it would work underwater. Now the normal hand warmers, you have to, you have to open. You guys ever use those things? Yeah. Uh, you have to open them. They, they require oxygen, but obviously that wouldn't do any good underwater. It's like a, I got the hand warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, it's ripped up. Anyway, so I'm going to try to find another. If I do, I'll bring it in. And that they get really nice and toasty. It's amazing. I want it toasty. So. But you're underwater in a cold, you know, scuba diving. It could be very cold under the water, and your hands will start to not work because they're so freezing. So you use a hand warmer. All right, guys, let's go grab.